Fixed Income Best X and Equity Best X are very different, I think, um, in that because of the regulatory structure, we actually have a very well-lit market in equities. There are a plethora of exchanges that are publishing prices. There's a national best bid offer that's required to be maintained. So the context of the market for any given you know, securities transaction you're trying to do in equities, it's pretty well understood what sort of the bounds are. Now you have to factor in, okay, perhaps my order size is large compared to sort of the average trade size. So I need to think about if my order is going to take longer than just getting done immediately, how do I, uh, how do I get that execution done? And that's where we saw in equities the development of all of these sort of algos and execution styles that you can have. And there is a whole you know, a plethora of uh, automated execution strategies that even as a retail investor you can go and use you know, fairly sophisticated you know, strategies to try and get your order done at the best possible price or with the least market impact. I think uh, fixed income is, is fairly far behind that simply because we just don't have the visibility that, uh, that the equity markets have in terms of the, the lit market. In fixed income, almost to get the best price, you really, you know, on an RFQ protocol, you're going out and you're, you're, you're giving your information up. Now, you know, that oftentimes is the most valuable part of what you're doing. The savings you get in terms of cost savings sometimes is, is uh, de minimis relative to, uh, relative to what you have to pay in information cost.